How's it going guys? Nathan from Nathan ZOY Garage and we have some tools here from Harbor Freight. We're going to be explaining to you just a little bit about these. So here's a scenario. I need to do some concrete. Um, need to pour a few slabs over the next six months uh, for a shop. So basically these Harbor Freight, these Pittsburgh, we have two different boxes here. This is kind of the whole set. Uh, this is a four piece concrete hand tool set and we have a Mason's hand tool set, which is a five piece. Now this one was $13. This one was $9. Um, that's a lot of stuff for that kind of money. If you go to Lowe's or Home Depot, a lot of these are 10, 15, $20 a piece. So let me go and open this guy up. I'm going to show you what this is all about and kind of the ins and outs of it. Now these are made out of steel and these have wooden handles. So it is the lower end of trials and concrete tools. So first off we have a nice edger here and it does have a wooden handle. It is nice and sturdy. It is made pretty good. It is made out of steel and not out of aluminum, not out of magnesium or wood. Uh, which this one would be made out of wood anyway, but the floats could be. Uh, so yeah, this guy is not bad. Next up we have, I don't know what you actually call, call this. This is for making the lines like in a sidewalk or to separate your slab so whenever it cracks, it cracks the line you made and not in a spot you don't want it. Uh, next up we have a 16 inch trowel or float. And we have a 12 inch and the build quality of these is not bad the wooden handles are a little bit cheesy what you have to remember about these aluminum trial aluminum floats and stuff you don't have to clean right away these you're gonna have to clean right away my recommendation to you guys that are using these uh to pre-oil them when you take them out of the box before you even use them you could use anything from old engine oil or new engine oil to vegetable oil to lithium grease you don't want to oil these right away and when you're done using them you want to clean them up immediately and re-oil them if you do that they last a little while uh, for the price you know they're gonna last you a few times just because they're rusty doesn't mean you can't use them but obviously you want to keep them clean if you can uh, moving on to this Mason's hand tool set this five piece we have Basically on the front it shows you a 10 inch, 7 inch, and 5.5 and inch pointing trowel, a 5 inch by 2 margin trowel, and a 6 inch by 3 inch tuck pointer. So we have the big guy here, the big 10 inch trowel. This probably isn't near as usable. This set here is more for brick or cinder block work uh, or you know scooping stuff. You could use it to scoop cement out to, if you need to fill in different spots. Um, this little guy here comes in pretty handy too if you need to go along the edge of your forms, whatever you gotta do. Uh, this little guy here is mainly for doing the seams in between bricks, or the joints between bricks or uh, block. And this is to smooth that out. So just a nice simple little tool. And then we have two other trials here. And this was the seven inch and the five and a half inch. They're just smaller versions. This is what you're gonna use with some Portland if you gotta patch a hole. Uh, you're gonna go and hit it with a float, you know, something like that. It's just a real simple, inexpensive set. It's like $25 with tax for both sets of them. That's basically the price of one of these, a nice one of these. So Harbor Freight came through pretty good. Harbor Freight's not totally bad, especially on this stuff. If you're not using these to make a living with, and you're just using them once or twice, or even three or four times, and that's it, perfect. Absolutely perfect. And what's missing from this, I could not find a bull float or anything that goes on a pole uh, to float everything in to where you get the point where you could use these. Uh, we'll be purchasing those probably from eBay or Lowe's. Lowe's has some good stuff. Same way, a lot of their stuff is inexpensive uh, and it is made out of steel, but a lot of that stuff's 30 bucks. So if you can spend less than $100, probably quite a bit less than $100, 
to finish your own concrete, why not? Perfect. These are not perfect tools, but for concrete, you don't need perfect tools. That's it, guys. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.